how about the credit for the solar that I'm generating? With practically every utility out there, they don't turn it into dollars, actual dollars, until the end of the year. Uh, there's a value associated with, a, a flat value associated with kilowatt hours, and depending on the net metering rules in your state or your jurisdiction or with your utility, uh, on a monthly basis, at the very least, it's kilowatt hour for kilowatt hour, right, at full credit. So that means that uh, if you're charged X for uh, kilowatt hour consumption, you're going to get credit X. Hopefully you catch on to my algebra here. <laughs> okay, so uh, the, now some utilities month to month and these would be like not your state regulated or your investor owned utilities, but more of your municipals and your co-ops and your uh, small utilities. Okay, so they might have some very specific rules that they're going by. Uh, but sometimes you'll see, and it's always good to know and ask your contractor or the people that you're trying to buy a system from, what are the rules for my utility? Because some utilities uh, through the country and different places will actually have uh, in place like demand charges and other issues uh, which may or may not make a battery system more viable um, depending on uh, the rules. Sometimes uh, a utility might have a system so where at the end of the month, if you have built up a surplus of kilowatt hours, they'll turn that into a monetary value that may or may not be equal to the charged rate of kilowatt hours at the end of the month, okay, at the end of the billing cycle and then credit that dollar amount towards other fees like taxes and what have you and or credit it in a dollar amount towards a future bill okay uh, and then so then we go towards the end of an annual billing cycle so at the end of an annual billing cycle if uh, you've got two basic situations one where you have a utility that does month-to-month -month crediting and uh, one that does annual crediting, meaning that you are going to actually get that turned into a dollar value sometime during your billing cycle and or it gets dissolved. Um, it almost never gets dissolved completely uh, on a month-to-month -month basis. I never heard of a utility that does that, but on an annual basis some utilities might if the Public Service Commission in your state allows that. In our state they don't. Um, but they, um, they only have to credit you a discounted amount at the end of an annual billing cycle. So it's dollar for dollar, penny for penny, kilowatt hour for kilowatt hour throughout the entire year until you get to the end of an annual billing cycle in Florida. <clears throat> and then it turns into, uh, there's a, a set rate and it's uh, right at or a little bit less than half of what your charge is for uh, electricity. But that's only if you have a surplus. Okay, so on a month to month basis, it's not like that. It's dollar for dollar, kilowatt hour for kilowatt hour. And you'll see on your bill, there will be a received, um, there'll be, you'll be a, have an added line on your bill that shows received, and that'll be a positive number or a negative number. And then uh, you'll want to call contact your uh, contractor to help you decipher that, right? And they'll probably ask you to take a picture of it or scan a, a copy to them so that they can decipher that for you. It's always a good idea also when you choose a company to install a solar system for you that they include the monitoring and that way you can see what your production is on your system. The production on your system is not going to be that received number by the utility because the received number on the utility, most utilities in most instances is on a single meter. So that number that they receive would be minus what you consumed while the system was pushing electricity back towards the utility. That's the number that they're going to credit towards what your consumption is minus what you consumed of the system while it was on during daylight hours. So that might sound kind of confusing. Feel free to comment below and we'll help you uh, with any of the questions that you have. If you have any questions, please do uh, comment below.
Michael Brown signing out. I was about to clap, but I didn't. <laughs>